Welcome back everyone. So the CDC urging pregnant women to get vaccinated no matter how far along they are in their pregnancy. They're saying that pregnancy is one of the highest risk factors when it comes to contracting a severe case of COVID. In fact, pregnant patients are three times more likely to end up in the ICU. Also three times more likely to need a machine to breathe, a ventilator. Well, now a doctor is looking at some pretty big rumors, dangerous rumors surrounding pregnancy and COVID vaccines. Very bad, very bad symptoms. These were some of the last words from a pregnant doctor before losing her battle with COVID. We're having end of life decision or end of life conversations with patients who should be like thinking about their gender reveal party. High risk OBGYN doctor Ebony Carter is seeing more pregnant women in the ICU than ever before. We don't have to be losing patients to COVID anymore. But is the vaccine safe? Can it cause a miscarriage? That is not true. This rumor spread like wildfire on social media, saying the spike proteins that the vaccine targets to protect us from COVID look very similar to a protein in the placenta. Even to the uneducated eye, you can see that they look nothing alike. Should pregnant women in their first trimester get vaccinated? The best time to get it is like right now or yesterday for that matter. There have been over 150,000 pregnant patients vaccinated at this point. The CDC has tracked and followed them and there has been no signal for harm. Dr. Carter knows new moms want the very best for their babies. She says the most important thing you should do is get vaccinated. These babies are going to be born into a world that is full of COVID and the Delta variant and whatever random variants come after it. The only hope that this little baby is going to have of having any protection is if mom gives it to them. Studies show antibodies were found in the umbilical cords as well as in vaccinated new mom's breast milk. Proof that getting one of these could save you and your child's life. Now, as far as infertility is concerned, Dr. Carter said there are absolutely no studies supporting that rumor either.